Okay, so welcome back to Dosh Tech. This is going to be an unboxing of the EVGA uh, GeForce G, uh, GT620 uh, graphics card by NVIDIA. This particular version has a slightly larger 80mm fan and uh, has 1 gig of DDR3 memory, uh, supports DirectX 11 and also PhysX, uh, PCI Express 2.0, shows you there that, that it requires a PCI Express X16 slot. Uh, it says in, apparently EVGA is number one seller in the uh, US of NVIDIA based products. Woo. So there's the top of the box. Side is just literally just says it's the number one seller in the US. On the back you can see some of the specifications. It says it has Blu ray support, DirectX 11, uh, CUDA, PhysX. Uh, audio, mini HDMI, dual link DVI, PCI Express 2.0, OpenGL 4.2 and several languages saying exactly the same thing as that. On the side you've got the model number on that sticker. It says it supports Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8. And the most important thing, you need to have a 350 watt or greater power supply with 18 amps on the 12 volt rail, uh, which is why the CX430N was unboxed in the previous video. So now we're going to go on to the unboxing. So it's just a pretty standard box, you just set your fingers in the side. Up, okay. uh, should note, I have already removed the plastic wrapping that was around the edge of the box to begin with. So you'll see in the box. It's all matte black, so you won't see much. But you can see the graphics card in there, and there's this small tab which you just push that way. And the card will slide out. For the convenient driver disc. Nothing else in there. So, uh, there's the driver disc. So with all graphics cards, try and get the newest one you can off of the website of the manufacturer or NVIDIA's website or EVGA, whoever you wish. And then we have a bag here which contains the card and uh, it says here, caution, uh, static. So you pull that sticker off and that will fold forwards like so. I'm handling it by the edge of the board, not the... Uh, metal parts and pull that out. First thing you'll notice is it has a, a lot bigger fan than most of the GT620 models which have a much smaller uh, little fan. Uh, I believe this to be 80 millimeters, but I'm not sure. Um, so there's protective film over the top. It says GT620 and there we go. So there's the PCI Express 2.0 at the bottom there. And then you can see at the back there is a mini HDMI and then two DVI-I ports. And uh, no additional power connectors on it, like the GT650 Ti Boost, which I used in my gaming computer. Uh, so yeah, it's a quite efficient card that should provide some decent power for Ray at quite a small price. However, it's important to make sure your power supply uh, can take it because it has quite a large TDP compared to most of the smaller cards. So we're going to move on to some specifications now. So this card should provide you with some decent power for media applications and light gaming provided you keep the settings low. This card in particular is the EVGA version with the 80mm fan, the model number of which will be listed on the screen now. So this single slot card uses the NVIDIA GT620 GPU and sports a good 96 CUDA cores with a GPU clock speed of 700MHz and a 1400MHz shader clock. 
The card supports DirectX 11 and it has a perfectly acceptable 1024 megabytes of memory. That's one gigabyte, and this is of the DDR3 type. The card has a 64-bit bus width and a maximum memory bandwidth of 11.2 gigabytes per second. As stated earlier, it uses the PCI Express X16 slot for connection, and at the rear offers mini HDMI and two, two dual-link DVI-I connectors, and therefore you can use a VGA cable provided user co converter, which was in this case not included. The card has a max refresh rate of 240Hz and can provide a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600 on the DVI connectors. The card has a max TDP of 49 watts and therefore does not require any external PCIe power but does need at least a 350 watt or more power supply with a minimum of 18 amps on the 12 volt rail. So that was an unboxing of the EVGA GT620 uh, by NVIDIA. This is a slightly larger fan uh, one gig model. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, should be an upcoming video soon with this and the Corsair CX430. Uh, that should be two videos um, making a tutorial on one, how to install a new power supply and then a graphics card like this uh, to put in afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, be expecting those videos soon and uh, thanks for watching.